Outstanding. Hello again and welcome, it's your boy Elder Rider and Ting. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification button. Follow me on our social media at Elder Rider Productions and please do join our Discord. Here's a link in the description below. In this video today, what I'm going to show you is how to add a little bit of interest to your beats. Sometimes, or to your mixes, sometimes you will hear filters and, and so forth like that. But um, what I did for this particular song, let me go to that section. Right here, it's a song by SSG called Curl Up. I please be sure to leave a link to the music video in the description below and a link to the producer's Instagram page. Also, now, as I was saying, um, I'm going to play the section here of the song so you can hear what I did. Play it from the chorus there. Yard and you still want more All when me I come you a suck out my soul Treat you like a queen and fuck you like a whore Broke in your face all when me no poor eh. Your skin clean and you know I say you have it I push it in and you a wine pan eh. In your mouth where you put it chocolate Alright so In this particular song There are two different choruses And it was just two um, Verses for this song and I adjusted the end of the song, so the verse didn't have to repeat. So I had to add a little bit of stuff to it to get it a little bit more interesting. So first and foremost, what I did for this part of the track, um, for the, the, the two bars that I hear, are four bars, should I say what I did, uh, it was add this plugin from Fab Filter named Micro, and I automate the bypass and the frequency section to get the filter of the song. Let me mute the main vocal so you can really hear what's going on. So here. Here in a section you will see a rise in which it rise and go back to the original um, tone of the song and I turn it off. So I'm going to play it from here. So that is how I begin that transition and I automate the, the the reverb and the section of the song and i turned down the delay also on this section of the song and what i also did for this piece of audio that i see here is duplicate the main vocals and just leave this part and what i did also is add this plugin from t-rex white channel and i select the small vocals preset so I'm going to play the vocals only so you can really hear what's going on with this piece of audio what I also added to this sound also is this delay here and what I have done is select a preset from the special effects um, telephone as you can see it is 64 of a note triplet or something like that and the feedback is pretty much not non-existent but what i did is put it quarter note push the feedback select the ping pong mode and that's pretty much about it for that particular piece of audio and this is how it sounds so it ping pong you know from left to right and it has a little bit of width. I also wrote this piece of audio to an auxiliary track where in which I pushed the width a little bit more and I compressed it a little so it, it, it is not really out of control. Yeah, so what this compression does, it the, the audio is low but it sounds like 
the, the, like when you're saying something control, controlled and forced away, that is how I intended for it to sound. In this next section of said song, what I did was pretty much um, have a layered vocal here. And what I did is, this is the original vocal and I duplicated it. And what I also add to the duplicate version is the vocal synth to plugin from Isotope and have the CompuVox on and the mix about 50%. And I busted out and added some reverb and some delays, quarter note um, delays. And pretty much that's just it. And some effects plugin to kind of give it a little bit more width. So this is how it sounds without with the effect on it. Let me mute the um, the rhythm a bit. So that is how it sounds with like the reverb, giving it space. Um, I'm spreading it, um, using delay and, and, and parallel compression to it. And this is how it sounds with the original vocals on it. So without the vocal synth, so it have space and ambient, and you know trinkets of of those stuff, and this is how it sounds with the lead vocal playing also. So it, it helps the intro a little bit more to sound interesting and this is how it sounds with the instrumental playing at optimal level. Yeah, so it, it does sound in a little bit more interesting on the intro and the second verse of this song it sounded you know much more interesting and did some automation there with the reverb and delays and other trinkets of little stuff in the entirety of this song to let it sound a little bit more interesting so if you really do get something from this tutorial please do leave a like it really helps the video with the youtube algorithm and if there is anything please do comment below or any feedback you have pertaining to this please do comment below and until the next time i'll catch you in another video it's a boy elorado peace out